My my wild prediction is that we're going to see Shane McMahon in some form. Oh God! Why? Why Whether that well, because I mean, so what ended up happening is with the disaster of the Royal Rumble, Vince said, "I'm never gonna, I'm not never gonna let you have another pop, or I'm never gonna let you have another moment in the sun." That's he left. They got rid of Shane McMahon. As as a business asset, Shane McMahon is is great. Whether that's he's going to return to WWE in some form, or whether that's the first true sh- di- the first two grab first true grab that AEW that AEW can get. Shane all McMahon the, as a business representative, a mystery buyer of two companies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. Shane McMahon. <laughs> Shane McMahon. The name on the thing says Shane McMahon. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think we might, because I mean, I like that's the thing you said. Wildest, nothing more. Like this year was insane. I have, like, you have to touch it on it somehow. You have to top it. That could top it. That could be one of the things of like, he's back. It's such a good question, Kobe. I, but I, it's it's I'm, it's out there, and that's the point. What what are your thoughts, uh, Clark? I just it's such a good prediction. It makes perfect sense, and I it's not even a name I thought of when we were like presented with the what uh, one more tame, one more wild prediction. It's genius. I totally dig it. Whether it's a a, a WWE return in some capacity, or I the idea of back to Ben's prediction about the companies being bought if that's shane mcmahon i swear and it's not linked to wwe television he just buys them himself and runs them goodness gracious sakes alive you have a mcmahon at the helm in the wrestling industry once again that might be the best fantasy book storyline owning nwa owning nwa goodness this is i mean every oh i am I talked about wheels spinning earlier. It is like mouse trap in there now. I've got all the wheels spinning. You, you that got, is you got 70 gears. Oh turning. yeah. I am like, you're kidding me. That is genius. And like like Ben said, the the idea of a McMahon owning N- NWA and it not being Vince Jr. is even more right. It's not even just the initial, the idea of a McMahon owning NWA and McMahon not Vince Jr. owning NWA. It's Oh, that is class, my friend. I, 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 that made my whole new year so far. By the way, I love that. That is so spot on. That would be outstanding. Oh. What are your thoughts, Sol? You don't seem to be too happy about the uh, prediction. Uh, I mean, look, I, I got no problem with Shane. Seems like a lovely dude, lovely family. Seems a nice guy. Got no problem with it. But I mean, is he even interested in wrestling? Does he really? have that sort of drive to, to run a company. Maybe the Shane McMahon of like 2004 when he wanted ECW to be on, the, like on a network or TV or like, well, sorry, website or something like that, or even wanted to buy the MMA. He was definitely like that sort of drive for it. But now, maybe he just want to settle down with your family, man. doesn't really give a toss about wrestling. I don't know. You do it, Clark. You buy it. It's probably worth pennies anyway. No, it's possible. It's, no, 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 no. I No, not me. But no, it's possible. So the... um the uh the shane just wanted to settle down but just the idea i mean i guess my only response to that would be the you know he did right uh obviously with what happened controversially at the rumble last year care enough to uh insert himself into a creative scenario you know he did enough backstage he clearly cared enough about wrestling enough to uh actually rub people the wrong way right as much as I would say, you know, the reports weren't that he didn't care. It was that he was telling people what to do. He was, you know, and if he's interested in calling the shots like that, um, that would be one avenue where it's possible. Um, But I do hear where you're coming from on the, it doesn't make perfect sense given his success also outside of WWE and just, he's already got an amazing legacy. Does he want to get into that? Right. I don't know. Um, Uh. Um, yeah, I would say the, that at the end of the day, Shane, Shane buying the, um, both companies would be such an explosive news story. 
I don't know. It's hard to gauge his interest. That's where I feel like I'm now recklessly speculating on what Shane McMahon would want to do after what he's done previously. And, and that, you know, it seems a little unfair for me, right. To, to, but at the same time, why would he not want to get the one territory his dad couldn't? That's a big, that's a, there's a yeah, lot of juice that, there. Well, well just, just, buys his, just fired him. Just imagine this. He buys the territory, comes out on TV, looks in the camera and says, no, do you love me, dad? No, do you love me? I, bought I mean, the one there's dad. precedent. They already, they, they played the angle out fictionally on TV with the WCW, right? It's the only time uh, Nitro and Raw were simulcast on, on at the same time. You know, the, the original invasion angle, they had WCW go to Shane McMahon and they simulcast both Raw and Nitro at the same time on both TNT and USA. Pretty historical moment in television history. And uh, so there's precedent there. It's been fictionalized already 20 years ago. Um, now, the at the time, it, the NWA belt had been defended in WCW, so there was some... It was the final territory at the time that was even like things that were written and spoken about when it went down initially. Um, was that this was his way of getting the NWA because that belt was carried into WCW at a time. But if to do it for real and Shane does it, that is right. If there's any level of bitterness from the Rumble situation, from the way he was treated at the company during his career and his father's career throughout, if there's any kind of that. There's one way you can one of them, and that's by the NWA. It and then be. you add impact, it would be to buy Jerry Jarrett out as well. Again, even though it's not Jerry as the owner, but to buy that that something that you know he and Jeff started too. It's another it's another chip in McMahon's are notorious for that kind of ruthlessness and that kind of uh, you know business business, not just competitiveness, acumen, savvy, all of that. That's I, I, I think it's a. I think it's a. I think it's a solid suggestion. I I, abs- I I really do think that that could be the only story in 2023 which could top anything from 2022. I feel like that is out of all these wild predictions, Shane McMahon buying the NWA and Impact mm-hmm. Wrestling, or even just NWA. But I feel like at this point, the NWA, you know. I I feel like I feel if you bought both of them, you, you'd be in a better position. <laughs> 